I'm supposed to be packing. I'm procrastinating and quickly doing an IGTV journal. I wanted to drop a note and just quickly jot down how I'm feeling and share it all with you. So if you have the time, please listen in. If not, don't be afraid of just passing it on. Um, so I've heard from you guys um, ask me a lot on how I'm feeling about this whole transition of Henry's and how I'm doing. And thanks for asking. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get to you about this before. Um, you know, I really wanted to be able to concisely um, put it all together and to put it in a way where um, I can really answer a lot of your questions. So if I was confused, I also didn't feel like I was able to answer it. Um, but we are in an extremely secure place in our marriage at the moment. Um, you know, things shift and change every day, especially with our exciting life. And I'm going right now to visit him in London, and I'm also going to do some work as well. So I'm super excited about that. I'm just feeling really fortunate about being able to be here. And I wanted to share this experience with you and just catch up a little bit on that. Um, so, you know, it's been a wild ride. I'm going to particularly talk about the last two years because that's the part where Henry and I have been married. We have been, you know, together for a total of seven years now. And we've always known that this was a very conscious decision to be together. Um, I describe it as together independent and independent together. So we have chosen to be in this partnership and in this marriage. And that is the word that I want to underline and highlight is a choice. So because we've decided to be in this partnership together, come what may, uh, we've decided that this is the life that we want to live together. So I'm really happy that, you know, through it all, I think that the last two years, if anything that I've learned, the biggest is how much of an amazing guy Henry is and that how fortunate I am to be in a, in a partnership, a mature relationship um, where he does include me and I include him in my life because we really can't live without each other and we know that we couldn't do what we do without each other as well. And I get a lot of people, you know, asking me how I feel about him, you know, being on screen with 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 different women. And, and you know, I think that's a very superficial way to look at things. Um, you know, of course, looking at the general scope of Hollywood, of course, it's a little bit intimidating that Hollywood has broken up a lot of couples, but that's only because they've been in the public eye. There are divorces all the time, and it doesn't mean that because you haven't heard of them and it hasn't happened to a couple, um, and, you know, that you're following that it, it, it hasn't, that it's not a very real fear. Um, and that it doesn't happen all the time. So of course, you know, I had that fear, though, even just going into the marriage. So that's something that I've dealt with from the beginning. And it's been a conscious decision of mine to always work for um, updating our together purpose and making sure that our relationship is strong and solid and that we're secure in each other. So there's no way that we could have done any of this without having this kind of connection with each other and this um, mature relationship. And I, I kind of consider it as like two trees growing side by side. We're blossoming and, you know, growing new branches and being fruitful um, every single day. And, you know, this may, this is going to change. I, mean, I know it's going to change in 2019. You know, things are shifting all the time. And I just hope for 2019 that I'm going to continue to be able to let go and continue to evolve and to continue to be by his side. I have made the choice to just be where he is and I'm so excited about that. I am so excited to be able to say that I can be with him um, because it's not just about being convenient, you know, to, for him to be convenient with me or for me to be conveniently be with him. It's, it's really not that way. Um, we genuinely enjoy being together and we need each other in our lives and I cannot wait to go to London and just celebrate um, the year end and celebrate all that we've been doing for the last two years and it's been such an incredible roller coaster um, but at the same time it's helped us grow and it's made us really solid as a couple really really quickly and we've had to fight for it to be together and every time that we fight to be together we choose again to update our together purpose and to be together 
each and every single day. And I think that's really important to make that conscious decision. So it's not just life happening to you. And it's not just, you know, oh, my relationship happened, this happened, and it wasn't, wasn't what I wanted. Because what he wants is what I want. And it's so funny to be able to say that because it wasn't always that way. You know, I've lived my entire life as an individual, but now I have someone else to think about and I have someone else to care for. And I think that's really beautiful that I'm able to be able to shift into this role as a wife and to be able to celebrate um, our future together and to be able to plan our future together. So I have no idea, honestly, where 2019 is going to take us. Um, it could be that we move. It could be that we live in multiple countries. All I want is for us to be together. And I'm so happy that we're able to be um, even just grateful just to be able to be together. So all of you who are asking about, you know, how we make it work and how it is for us as a couple, I hope that from listening to this, you're able to hear some kind of encouragement and absorb some knowledge from my words of advice, even though they may not be specific and say, this is how we do things. I think that the general idea and the general scope, the breadth of what we have together is something that everyone can learn from. And that is something that I wanted to share with you because I can't say that what works for me is going to work for you because it's just not that way. I can't say that you should communicate, you should do this and you should do that. Um, I can generally give advice. I can say that for us, communication is key. We know each other's love languages. We know what each other's needs. And as long as we're able to fulfill that in each other and give each other love and make sure that we receive love from each other, then we're all good and we're happy. Um, so I wish you guys all best of luck for 2019 and everything that's coming up for all your relationships and all those, um, everyone you're going to meet along the way. Um, and I will definitely check in and do some more of these journals. The next one I do, um, we have another exciting trip coming up. Me and Henry, we're going to be going to LA for GQ Man of the Year. So I will update on that because it's so exciting. And that's the time that we get to celebrate me and Henry and celebrate Henry's success. And I guess I get a Wife of the Year award for that too. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyhow, love you guys. I need to take off and pack. <laughs>